Hello, welcome to Perot Show. Today we're taking you on a short trip to Portlish. St. Patrick's Day celebration in Portlish will never be the same again. Not after the Igbo cultural troupe stormed the parade and turned it into a carnival. Ladies and gentlemen, please relax and enjoy the exciting moment of the celebration. My name is Peter Oginan. I'm here with Jack Nolan, the chairman of Portlich St. Patrick's Day Parade. You're welcome, Jack. Thank you. Tell us, for the benefit of those who don't actually know what St. Patrick means, what is St. Patrick and why the need for the celebration? Well, it's a national day of celebration. Uh, St. Patrick came to Ireland and uh, brought Christianity to us back in, I think, about the 4th century. And uh, we've celebrated ever since that particular day. But it just got bigger and bigger. And now it's a celebration of all things Irishness. And uh, it's celebrated all over the world. I mean, New York, massive parades, Washington. And uh, here in Ireland, we particularly take great pride in it. But I suppose it has changed over the past couple of years because uh, where it was a totally Irish event and totally all the Irish people in it. We now have such a diverse culture here that we have people from all over the world and it now has become a truly multicultural event. And if, here in Port East today we have people from all over Africa, all over Eastern Europe and uh, you know it's just a marvellous day. And We want the people who come to live in Ireland, who come to live in Port East to join with us and they have today. Uh, we have great colour, we have great pageantry from all over the world and that's what we want. We want more of it about the builder for years to come. Uh, this is the Fife and Drum Band, all the way from County Derry, the Spirit of Freedom Fife and Drum, traditional Republican band, and they travel a 400 mile uh, round trip to the import East today, uh, taking part in the parade for the very first time. In fact, taking part in the first ever St. Patrick's Day parade, and they bring great colour and fight and the great sound to the town. Part of the parade we're lighting up. This is the Gwail Skull from Port Leash. It's a traditional Irish school, all subjects taught through Irish. And crowds are first lighting the route, waiting for the parade to start. The local civil defence uh, band. The parade is the Shadowhoe Band. Shadowhoe National School Band. Beautiful colour, uh, painted with the party. Big crowds down along the main street. Can't wait for the parade to start. Young children, parents, old people. Some people dressed in uh, custom animals, of course, as well. All of them like the light of the out for the day. This is the Special Olympics, Calvin, of course. Special Olympics were held in Ireland a few years ago, and uh, this group doing marvellous work for. Uh, Young people with disabilities. They also bring great colour, great excitement to the parade. With many old cars, old veteran cars, vintage cars, people take great pride in them. This one is about 40 years old, and one behind it very much older. Huge cars all along the route. From the Ebo tribe, the Ebo community in Ireland. Red colour with our masquerades, just get nice high park to the parade. Say now look at him walk up for us. What colour, what sound, and what excitement. And children, a couple of minutes before they get underway. There we have uh, a group from Doro, which is about 10 miles from Port East. They're celebrating their 300th anniversary in the town. And they're here today with an 18th century wedding carriage. And all of the guests will be at the wedding about 200 years ago. Their celebration will last right throughout the year. This is Kilbahan Pastron, Caravan, and a pet, pet farm as well. Four lovely white horses. For your relaxation and entertainment. Well, Afro Caribbean restaurant is the best and it's um I find it very relaxing. It is a very nice place. And I love the food. Hi, I come here every weekend and it's great. Anytime I come here and I, I feel at home with the Enquabe. 
Coming and enjoy yourself. Mm, it's the right place to be. See you. Hello, girls. Are you a Nigerian? Do you have what it takes to be Miss Nigerian Island 2008? Parade Entertainment presents Miss Nigeria Island 2008. And for more information, you can log on to the website www.missnigeria.ie. It could be me. Could be you, could be you, or me. See you there. The evil Here we have the mayor of Port Isha, TV Alibari, the first black mayor ever in Ireland. And here to meet his uh, Nigerian comrades today from the evil community. Delighted to welcome them to Port Leash, delighted to have them here. They normally take part in the St. Patrick's Day Parade, but this year with uh, Rotimi. We are all very important and uh, what an occasion and what a year that has been for him. We're here to honour him today and bring all our colour and excitement to the town. I'm delighted to meet the all, of course, he is. The team has been a huge part in Port East since he came here a number of years ago and elected uh, just back four years ago to Port East Town Council along with the mayorship this year and has cried out a job with great dignity and uh, great colour and great enthusiasm as well. For us. Port Leash Tiny Town Group, a group of ladies and gentlemen who keep Port Leash with you all year, planting flowers and uh, a great green team for the parade today. Followed by the Timber Hall of Risker Karate Club. Great to have all of the young people out taking part in the parade. The young people love and the other young people love just watching the match. So this is the colour of the Eva Parade. Masquerading. I mean, we have a couple of little Teletubbies on the television, so we've uh, certainly a good mixture of cultures here. Getting ready now, the parade just starting. A couple of uh, large leprechauns from Ireland. Waving them on with the Teletubbies as well. So what do you know about Paddy's Day? Um, that is just to get close with people in Ireland and just like join yourself. Oh, enjoy yourself. Yeah. You know, okay, that's great. And have you been participating in Paddy's Day or, or is this your first time? No, I've been doing it um, uh, a kind of a lot of times. Okay, do you do something about Paddy's Day in school? Yeah, we did one for our school and for the GAA club. Oh, for the GAA club. Yeah. Okay, that's why we're so used to yeah. um, the Paddy's the St. Patrick's uh, celebration. Yeah. Okay, that's great. All right, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, bye. Yeah. Really the highlight of uh, this year's St. Patrick's Day Parade and the, has to be the participation of uh, the Evo community. Great to see uh, all of the people who have come to live in Port Asia over the past couple of years coming out today as well. Uh, many of the Evo community coming from Dublin but a few of them living in Port Asia as well and they like to support their friends and colleagues for the Port Asia really is a town of great welcome as well from the communities from all over the world over the past number of years and very changing times with the older people delighted to have him here there we have a sergeant Tom Walton in front and he's a member of the parade committee as well cameras out taking a snapshot of the occasion great colour with the masquerade we have these children and people who are living in Port East and working in Port East are being welcomed by the Port East community and play a great part in it The parade has started, of course, uh, at centre point on the Mount Rath Road in Port Leash. Uh, now we're moving down the James Fintan Lawler Avenue, which is right in the centre of the shopping area of the town. People lining the routes all around, most of them packed into the main street, we are uh, looking at now, right on the main shopping area of the town. Stretch limousine coming. Well, we thought maybe it might have been George Bush or some of the American presidents with the uh, members uh, behind. But just as they passed by, we saw this brother, Elvis Presley. We thought, well, we, we thought he was dead. It was a wonderful wooden horse, handcrafted by a man called named Charlie Buck, out of Nemo. Takes part in the period of the uh, marvellous spot. I was still waiting for more and more of the uh, floats and entertainment to come. And here come the Eva Five Brothers coming down the Mount Rat Road under one of the lower bridges. Because there's many bridges around Port Asia regularly hit. The significance of today actually is just uh, awareness to the Irish people 
awareness in the sense that uh, the Irish are getting to know now that Ireland is no longer what it used to be. It's now a community, a complete community in the sense that it's now a multicultural community where you have uh, Africans, East Europeans, and the real Irish themselves. So today we got into the community, we were accepted, and we've taken St. Patrick's Day uh, celebration as part of uh, our own culture as well. So it's something we've invited and it's something we'll continue to celebrate with the uh, Irish people who are our very, very good host. Well, the Eve of New Year, you really get into the swing of it now, and the people down this hall waiting on them to come. Word has spread that they're the main attraction in this parade. At the moment, we're just heading down Grattan Street in Cornisha, heading down to the main centre of the town. Children at every vantage point, cameras out, children from all nationalities in Cornisha. That's the Cornish GA Club, local uh, Irish football team with the hurlers in the front of them, with the command in the hand. It's great to see all of the young people coming out and taking part in the parade. They just love marching. And all as you see all along the footpath, the streets of the town, young people just love watching them as well. We're now running Bridge Street in the lower end of Port Leisure, running towards the Market Square where thousands of people are gathered. The local police force estimated up to 20,000 people attended. There we have a zebra from the... Here we have a zebra from the Kilvahan pet farm, which is situated about 12 miles from Port Asia in Cool Rain. All sorts of animals up there, llamas, and zebras, camels. They also have some wonderful porches as well. The karate clubs, the rugby clubs, their uh, rugby club jerseys. And they're watching the evil community to behind them for the show. Huge welcome for the Port Leash. It's changed for a parade in Port Leash because go back 10 years ago maybe it would be totally Irish, totally local communities and uh, with a huge influx of people from all over the world has just changed the face of the parade and changed it for the better. And there's a huge welcome for the Port Leash. Just uh, looking from the local community, from the local committee, we want to see more and more of it. Even looking at the shop behind, it's a uh, holy shop. And we have in Port Asia, I think five or six shops from all nationalities uh, bringing food and culture and the ethnic uh, quality to the town. Certainly is the changing face of Port Asia.